Well, beginning today, there are fewer options when booking a room for your stay here in New York City. City officials are now enforcing a rule cracking down on short term rentals. And for some who do rent out their space on sites like Airbnb, they are worried about the loss of income. Here's Alameda News reporter Lucy Yang. All right. Trisha is a super host on Airbnb. Guests love her ground floor apartment with a spacious kitchen. I did all the planting myself and private backyard. Mm -hmm. They tend to become repeat visitors, even friends. Trisha lives upstairs. Now with the city striking down short term rentals, this former dancer fears she will have to come out of retirement. 90% of the people that stay with me are, they're probably older couples in their 70s and they have grown children who live in this neighborhood and their children are having grandchildren. So they're coming to visit their families and they come regularly. I have people that come three or four times a year and they're now friends of mine. New York City dealt a blow to Trisha and thousands of other homeowners today, claiming short-term rentals create a lack of affordable housing. The city is now threatening to slap hefty fines on owners caught renting their units for less than 30 and days. So I'm in favor of the city clamping down on Airbnb, yes. I don't think it'll hurt tourism in New York. However, the popular platform Airbnb argues, quote, the city is sending a clear message to millions of potential visitors who will now have fewer accommodation options when they visit New York City. You are not welcome. Trisha wonders if City Hall even considered compromises like charge some kind of tax on it and then use that to build affordable housing. Going forward, she will need to find guests who are willing to book an entire month. So far, that's not looking promising. Here in Bedside, this neighborhood has the highest concentration of home shares in the city. The question now, will the owners turn their units into long-term rentals?